Jesus met Paul on the road to Damascus. And he said, why are you persecuting me? You see, Paul felt something. He'd seen these Christians. He'd helped stone Stephen's to death. And he'd seen him as his face shined like an angel. He knew something was wrong, but he had the Torah. He had his Bible. And he wanted to get these people. It was out and under the control. But these people was under the control of the Holy Ghost. And he was persecuting them. And he knew something was wrong. Because Jesus said, Hey, hey, Saul, what are you doing kicking against the pricks? Why was he kicking against the pricks? Because he knew. You see, he didn't have it. He knew they had it. He knew they had something. And people today, when I tell them this, that the Bible is an idol, it's a mark of the beast, and your person, they know I got something. They know this is the truth. But they don't want it. They want to have the lust of the flesh. What happened to this war? Because you knocked off all the Holy Ghost people. They knew that John the Baptist was telling the truth and cut his head off. Why did they hang these people in Boston? They hang them because they said, it's a light in me. It's a light shining in me and I'm telling you of your sins and I'm telling you the truth. And they hung them and they, they put them in prison. They, they persecute them because they had God in them. They're kicking against the pricks again today because they know that the Bible is not the Word of God. They know that the Word of God is spirit. They don't want nobody to speak the Word of God. When you go into church today, they say, open your Bible. They'll open the Bible and it's dead as Hogan's goat. You can't get nothing out of no Bible. There ain't nothing in a printing press. The printing press didn't make a God that I want to follow. Jesus sent back the God I want to follow. He sent back the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost was in them. And that's why they persecuted them. That's why they killed them. That's why they hung them. That's why they put them in jail. That's why Catholics don't attack Baptists. That's why Baptists don't attack Pentecostals. Because they don't have the Holy Ghost. All of them got Bibles. That's all they got is a Bible. Today they don't have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is Christ in us. That's why the war is over. And now Jesus' voice is being heard again in the land. And times are coming that you'll wish a thousand times you had to spend all your money to build a harlot and to build Mystery Babylon. You'll wish that you'd give your time and your effort laying up treasures in heaven because this man that came and died for you on a cross, they knew he was from God. They knew they didn't want to be controlled by God. They wanted the inheritance to be theirs. And they killed him out of envy. Not because he wasn't right. He'd raise the dead, walk on the water, turn water into wine. And he sent us back the Holy Spirit. And he said, you'll be like sheep amongst wolves. And they burn us at the stake. They killed us with sword. They killed us with stone. They would hang us or feed us to the lion. Any way to get rid of us. Put us in prison. When King James was in, he put hundreds of them in prison when he authorized his Bible. The Bible had authority. They could hang them. They could put them in prison. Because the Bible was the authorized word of God. And that was the golden calf of today. And they killed the spiritual people and persecuted the spiritual people and put them in prison and killed them and persecuted them. And because I tell you the Bible is an idol, it's the mark of the beast, and speak, spoken, spoken. When Jesus speaks the word, it's life. When it's spoken and you put it down on a piece of paper and you give it to Hamburger Hagee or some of these devils, it becomes the word of the devil. And you're obeying the word of the devil and you're going to be sorry because you're going to be bitter because you're persecuting the ones that love God, the ones that has the Holy Ghost in them. you got to let God speak in you. We're the temple of the living God. Ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost because when you leave from here and you go to sleep, you're going to go into a world where there's only two powers, and that's Jesus and Satan. Satan's in this lower world. The shadow spirits are going to get you Bible worshippers. Ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost. He didn't send you a Bible. Most people couldn't even read in his day. People couldn't read till after the printing press come out. So you better ask God for the Holy Ghost and being controlled by these devils with Bibles because you're going to wind up because it's time now. God's going to be bringing judgment on the earth. The Bible is an idol. The Bible's the mark of the beast. And when the devil is using the Bible, that's the word of the devil. Well, I was bound to Satan, full of lust and hate. Jesus came and filled my heart with love. And love, I got him. Spirit came up on me like a dove. I'm moving on up with my Jesus.
up to Jesus Christ to go. He'll put you on the mountain. There's a living fountain. The only way to go from there is up. I'm moving on up with my Jesus.